and welcome to Class Fit Sugar. I'm Ashley Joy and today I am bringing you a 15 minute body weight workout that will give you the strength and the extra push at the end of any run. This episode is presented by 26.2 Team Milk. Dairy Milk is an excellent nutritional ad for both marathon training and recovery. With 13 essential nutrients, including high quality protein, fueling you to stay active longer. Implementing strength training into your weekly run routine is essential to accomplishing your goals. Let's go ahead and get right into it because this one is going to go by quick and spicy. All right, let's get started with our warm up. 30 seconds of jumping jacks. We have three exercises and we're gonna roll right into them. Before we start our workout, we have only 30 seconds rest. I want you to take this as a true warm up. If you have to start here, that's totally fine. We have less than 10 seconds of jumping jacks and then we're gonna get right into high knees. Go at your own pace, deep breath in, exhale, two, one, and right into high knees, let's go. Making sure that we're driving those hands down and past our hip. And if you can, exaggerate and bring them up way by your face. There you go. Remember, if you have to slow it down, fall low. Amazing, Sierra. Tiffany and I, we're doing the best that we can, right? Smell. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Three, two, and one. We're going right into butt kicks. You have 30 seconds rest after this. There you go. Flex that toe. That heel comes right up underneath your butt. I'm feeling my quads already. 15 seconds. Drive those arms. I want you to envision like you're going on a run. This is our workout. It's a push workout. And rest. 30 seconds rest. The first block is going to be intense and wanting you to be quick. Speed and agility, all right? There is no rest, 45 seconds each exercise, and then you get 30 seconds rest. We have 10 seconds. We're gonna start on the ground. We have mountain climbers. We're gonna go up into high plank, modify. Remember, you have Sierra. High plank, drive those knees. Quick, quick, come on. Drive those knees, spread those fingertips. There it is. Make sure we're taking those deep breaths, exhaling out of our mouth. Let's go, drive. Come on, go at your pace. If your pace is nice and steady, that's what you can give today. If you can give, yes, that's what I'm talking about. If you can give more, you give more and you can tap. Sierra, go ahead and go up onto your toes. Then I want you to just tap here, right in the middle. There you go. Two, one, stay on your mat. We have burpees. Hop those feet up, stand tall. You can either jump or come up onto your toes. Hit that plank. Remember, speed and agility. Find your rhythm. There it is. Push off the ground with your feet, high as you can, 20 seconds. There it is. Come on. Woo! Less than 10. That's real. Yes. Five, come on. Up on your toes. Last one. Here we go, side shuffle. Hit it, side. Come on, quick, touch the ground, move. Quick feet, down, quick feet, down. If you have more space than we do, I want you to go as far as you can to your right. Touch the ground, far as you can, down to your left. We are over halfway. Come on, if you can kick it in, now is the time. 10 more seconds. Then you have a 30 second break. Here it is. We are pushing through, baby. 
three. Woo. Come on, two and one. Ashley, you're just Woo. giving it to us. Killing it. Yes, because <sighs> running, running is like, it's like this, honestly. Yes, it, really it is. is. Sometimes <laughs> you want to give up. <laughs> yep. But it's just one foot in front of the other. It doesn't matter how fast or how slow you're going, you just keep going. This next round is about strength, so it's not about speed. Go into a whole squat, feet hip or shoulder width apart, go down to 90, back up halfway, back down, and give me that explosiveness. Ready? You go at your own pace. There it is. As long as you focus on that form, exploding, absorbing that squat to engage those amazing glute muscles, landing very, very softly, and as you can see, Sierra, she took out whew, that, what is it, that jump? jump? I was like, what is that word? <laughs> yeah, she took out that jump, but she is still engaging her glutes. And we have Tiffany over here, killer, killer. She's killer getting it. Lot, Come baby. on, yes. Okay. We have 10 seconds. Ooh. If you can, amp it up or focus on these muscles. Last one, push. Here you go. All right, we're gonna go into alternating lateral lunges. Feet together, step out, push that heel back in your butt, stand tall, feet together, push out, and repeat. There it is. I can't wait to see my legs after this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my thing is making sure Knee and toe aligned. Big chest. Push back. You want to feel that glute. If you can, for your glute go boop at the end. Right here. Boom, boom. Get it and push it up. <laughs> Last one. There it is. All right. Now we have calf raises. You're probably thinking calf raises is like really easy, basic. Yeah, it is, but it's very important to have strong calves. Everything needs to align and be strong. So we're going to have feet. Shoulder width apart, go up, hold for two seconds, and back down. Up onto your toes, hold. One, two, and back down. Up, one, two, and back down. Strength training is so important because obviously, you're using your muscles as you are running, but they need to be strong. They need to be worked. They also need to be torn apart so they can rebuild. And that's what we're doing right now. I know tearing apart is like a big deal. But up next, single leg RDL. We're gonna use one leg at a time. So pick your leg, follow Sierra for modifications. Go ahead and start. We're gonna balance Tiffany and I, and then we're gonna drive. You can tap, same leg, balance, and drive. As a runner, we are literally pushing off one leg at a time. So this is getting your strength, stability in one leg and the other. It'll also let you know which leg is, you know, a little bit more weaker. And when I say weak, it's not a negative. It's actually a positive because you have the ability to get it strong. So just knowing that you have to get some work in and it's very natural. Woo! All right, switch. Let's go. Ooh -hoo. Oh, this one is more, I'm more balanced. I can't remember if this was my push-off leg when I was in college. Who knows, that was a long time ago. <laughs> Drive, all right, who feels more stable on this side than the other? Tiffany? Like my first side was stronger. Nice. <laughs> this one is a bit more, I was a left in gymnastics. So okay, see? It took off. Plays a role. 15 seconds. Remember, it's not about speed, it's about focus, stability, strength, ooh, and breathing. Sometimes we tend to hold our breath as we're focusing. Drive, give me one more, and then we are going to break for 30 seconds. All right. Now we're gonna head down to the ground, and we're gonna go into core. Core is so important as you're running. It is your entire center, you know what I'm saying? It's your posture. So tight core as you're running. We're gonna head down and do a plank, because hey, Running's full body, a plank is full body. We're gonna get into a high plank. You can go down into a forearm plank, or you can follow Sierra. I 
got you with the phone. Yes, I was about to say. Uh -huh. <laughs> she read my mind. I was like, let's show everyone the options that they have. <sighs> Breathe. Now you can have a nice wide base, a short, narrow base. But the thing I want you to focus in on is pushing your hands into the ground, engaging your upper back. Flexing those quads, engaging your core. A little bit of a shake, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. A shake. a shake is the best thing. <laughs> yes, we got five seconds. Look, we already got through it. Two, yeah, that shake came right at the right time, right? And lower those knees, and we're gonna get back on to our back. We're gonna go into bicycle crunches. Hands behind your head. Drive one knee up, shoulders off the ground if you're going all out and alternate. You can relax your feet on the ground and come up, relax and come up, or you can go all out like so. It's extremely hard to talk while doing these, so let's all be silent. All right, one last core exercise. We're gonna go into a Russian twist. Feet flat, grab your hamstring, push back. As soon as you find that engagement, go ahead and rotate all the way. I want you to be able to see one wall and the next wall here. Your options are all of us have our feet down, heels can be down, or feet can be elevated. Exhale every time you rotate. So yes. Mind and breathe. Yes, exactly. We have to breathe. Our muscles need the oxygen. Our brain needs the oxygen. Yes. We need the oxygen. Yes. Free the oxygen <laughs> out of your body. Free the oxygen. Exactly. And one more. And 30 seconds. And then we're going to get into some amazing endurance push. Baby, do not get mad at me when this comes in. But we have. We have a nice one minute run, okay? Woo. Yes, this is gonna be a push. This is going to test you, but hey, what would I be here for if I don't push you to your limit? And then we're gonna do some stuff after that. You ready? Let's go, one minute, go. go. Now remember, focus on yourself. If you have to close your eyes and forget that we're even here and you go into your own world, that's right, get into the zone, you beast of an athlete. Thank you for working out with me. Let's go. 45 seconds are already done. There you go. I hear you tap, tap, tap and tip. Tap, yeah. tap, tap and tip. <laughs> One track time. Yes. Guess what? We're halfway. Yeah. Now's the time to put that chin down, close those eyes, drive those knees up, drive those arms. I like to move a little forward and backwards. I'm turning side to side. There you go. <laughs> and Sierra, she's getting it. I hear it. Okay. She's coming off. Let's go. Forward, backwards, under 10 seconds. Three, come on. Two, and one. Feet shoulder width apart, step back, alternating. Reverse lunge. Go ahead and give me a knee drive. One more. Now we're gonna do nice and quick, come on. Here it is. Here's that push. Step back. Engage those arms. You can do this. Nice and gentle. Do not drive that knee down into the ground and hurt yourself. Stay in control. There you go. We're here with you. Drive. I know that fatigue is there. We are almost done. Come on. Giving a smile to the I know. We have to smile now, because I'm going to ask you to do something really intense. We oh, have no. jump squats, guys. Oh, yes. baby. Here we go. Intense. Down. Push off. Absorb. Push. There it is. The amount of work I'm asking you to do is nothing compared to what you already did. That's why you should finish strong. Push. You've already done this. You're just finishing. Come on. 20 seconds. If you need to, go onto your toes. Go onto your toes. Now jump. You can do it. 
Yes, you can. Shot. 10 seconds. Come on. The cool down is right there. Finish Woo. line. That point Finish two, baby. Ha. Come on. One more. Yes. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Yes. That was real. Oh, couldn't have done yeah. it without you guys. Yes. <sighs> Let's get into, yeah, I love it. The teamwork. A little slight cool down. Nothing crazy. We could just get our breath together. Let's go ahead and stand in a comfort level. So shoulder width, hip width, wherever you're at. Palms facing out. Go ahead and close your eyes. Deep breath in. Hold it for two seconds. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Get control back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. On this last one, I want you to envision yourself crossing that finish line of whatever race you have to face in your life right now. Inhale. And exhale. You did it. Thank you so much for pushing with me. Ooh, Sierra. Fantastic. Boom, Tiffany, good job. Hey. hey, thank you so much, 26.2 Team Milk, for sponsoring this workout. And Class Fit Sugar, we will see you next time.